but the, we can uh, talk about that later, Martin. I can share about me I, uh, many moments with you that I have gone through in the past 23 days. Um, please allow me to just say good morning to each and everyone and acknowledging all the um, people involved and all the role players. And I'm, I'm not going to uh, single out anyone, but I want to single out Jock. Jock, you give me a lot of um, inspiration and I have a lot of admiration for you. I've always had it, it's just now more because I think through all of what you've gone through and obviously lots of other people, but looking at you and how you really handle this and the fact that we can stand here today is just very amazing. So thank you for the person that you are. And all the other people, like the lens of this world. His board sport is blushing. <laughs> Um, today, for me, more than any other day, I know that we're going to be okay. And the reason why I know that we're going to be okay is to see the, the, the determination of one of the oldest um, industries in our economy picking themselves up and dusting off the ashes and taking things forward. And that makes me to believe that we are well on our way to rise and that we will be stronger than ever before. I must also just mention, and I don't think it is any coincidence, that I've just come from another launch of a business. And myself and our economic development department, they were also there because they played a big role. And so I think it is very appropriate that we are today doing what we are doing just like minutes after each other. And the two things that stands out between what I've done earlier and now, and I would no regret say that I'm a Christian, I don't always announce that, but the business that was launched was opened also by a pastor who pleased the business and just really um, just put his blessing on it, or God's blessing. So, I do believe that this business and this initiative is also based on Christian principles. Thank you. So, this morning, in this particular Friday morning, is the second Friday of us wanting to say to the world, we are ready to rebuild, and we are ready to regrow, and we are ready to reconstruct and we have said that we want to, and I am again apologizing after this morning that I don't have green, but last week I had green on. And the idea is that we, thank you, Martin. And the idea. <laughs> and the idea is that we want to say to the community of Nisna and the broader public that we want to rebuild this town. We want to say that we are busy to start that process of regrowth. So we want people to wear green, and I know it's not an easy color to find that I've established. And as the campaign goes on, we will be doing other things that ties in with that particular campaign. Um, we'll be planting trees with our partners from Sam Parks and others. And so we'll be bringing in that. And so, Today is the second, this Friday is the second Friday for us running there. I also want to recall a time where we had a meeting where we discussed the uh, revival of the timber economy. And sadly, the place that we held it in Nice Nalo burned down. And so for us today to stand here, it was less than a year ago, it was in September, we were having very positive discussions with more or less the same people in the room um, discussing how we believe that we as a town need to take this third economy further. So I'm very satisfied and quite confident that having this today in the midst of what we've gone through is to me fantastic and it's great because we are not stepping away from that intention and goal and objective that we had that particular day during that particular time because we are doing exactly that now. 
under very different circumstances when we are doing it. And so to me it's shown the opportunity that we have in the midst of this disaster to come out of it and actually build things and build it even better. I also would like to acknowledge Woodmiser in their very really generous uh, you know, donation in making sure that they assist the industry with the much needed equipment. I think that will go a very long way uh, in helping them to really achieve what they want in a time that they really need it. So we are really, really grateful to you and for your sponsorship. We appreciate it. I am now more than ever sure that Jock, when we come out of here and modeling him, we're going to be showcasing something to the world that is going to fund him, it's going to just want him to come to Nisner even more. Because we've got so much more to offer in this industry. You know, through this disaster, when we, uh, and we are still busy, and we also been criticized that we are still busy with the assessment of things, and myself and Nandi had a very short discussion, and saying that people do not understand the magnitude of the damage that this fire has brought. And so it's not very easy for us, and we don't want to take the whole process lightly, and so we need the correct stats and the information needed for us to make sure that whatever we need and we're going to ask out there is based on all the correct information that we have gathered. And so, from ILSA's department, the Local Economic Development Department, they have worked around the clock to make sure that they assist the businesses. Because a lot of the businesses that has been part of this town for decades are not there anymore. But, as was earlier said, the, the department is really still giving that support to businesses. It's hit our town very hard. It's made us lose jobs of close to 2,600. And it's not going to be easy. But we have seen the commitment and the support like the Woodmizers of this world and all the other role players in helping us to overcome those job losses and those challenges and the damages that we have suffered in our town and our business have suffered. Um, it's going to take every effort from everyone and we know that we will be able to do it but we are also very aware of the reality that we can't do it on our own as a local authority and therefore I want to say to you we appreciate you as business people, we appreciate your resilience your determination and your perseverance to want to make the economy of this town work. Without you, we can't do it, and so we must give you all the support. And today, as mayor, I'm pledging that support from our municipality, from our economic development department, and any other department that can assist you wherever they can. We want you all to rise, and we want you to be stronger and better than before. So I am very positive. I am extremely proud of you. I am extremely proud of my townspeople in the way that they've got together during this time. And this gives me hope as the leader of the town. So thank you very much and all the best for, for the um, initiatives and your journey. Thank you very much.